These are my two uh, iOS devices, my iPhone and my iPad. And recently I was looking at my purchase history on the App Store. And when you look at the purchase history on the iPad, sometimes it's just over here in the bottom you pur purchased. It can become really cluttered. Like over here you can see I have like hundreds of apps. And over here I have a bunch of apps too. So uh, one feature that iPad has is the ability to hide apps. Uh, which is kind of good and kind of bad. It's because let's say I want to hide this eye health thing. I just slide to the left and then I tap on the hide button and it'll hide the the app. Now the I mean it's great that you can make your uh, list of purchase apps much shorter but the bad thing is getting unhiding those apps. Uh, that That's a different video that I'll make but uh, for now, again, if you want to hide the app, you just go into the purchased f section and slide to the left and then click on hide and it'll remove it from the list of purchased apps. On the iPhone, it's a little different. Uh, you have to first load up the app store and here's the app store and then you click on your icon and then you click under purchased and then you can start doing the whole left scroll thingy um, and so the second reason that you do that is if you wanted to prevent uh, if you're sharing your uh, app store iTunes account uh, then you'd want to maybe hide the app if you don't want other people in your family installing the app easily so I'm not too sure how that works, but that's a different thing.